Okay, Ricky, this is the product you ordered. Uh, this uh, combination of these items, uh, with along with some uh, Fizzkiz carbonation caps, is the product known as the soda rope. Um, the tubing is why I call it a rope. So, this is the regulator that goes with the soda rope. <clears throat> and we'll take that out of the picture for a moment. And I will talk to you about how you can modify your uh, handheld dispenser to make it completely portable and to accept the uh, small, tiny little CO2 bulbs that uh, are used inside. So, let's get started. All you need is a pressure regulator to go inside of your black banana, and this is a picture of what that looks like. Um, and you need tools. The tools you need are a pair of needle nose pliers, okay? This is the only tool that will be required. First, you open your uh, a black banana. And then you disassemble the forward section. Very easy. You simply put your thumbs inside and pry it apart. So you put your thumbs in there. Now be careful. Don't don't pry very much because you don't want to lose any pieces. Okay, this is how it opens up. And everything inside here is uh, very simple and easy uh, to uh, work with. First, remove the thumb button. It's uh, very small, so don't lose it. And then everything else inside simply comes out very easily like this. <clears throat> now you will want to remove this tubing from the low pressure valve and that's very easy to do. You use your um, needle nose pliers and grip the tubing here and be careful do not do not bend it. You do not want to break off the tiny little tip. You want to pull it straight out very slowly just like this. It's not very difficult. Just pull it off. Okay? And now you can get your rear section by pulling out all of the tubing and saving the tubing for later. <clears throat> the next thing you do is connect the pressure regulator to the low pressure valve and it's very simple and easy to do again straight on do not do not bend be very very careful and go straight on it's not difficult just wiggle it a little bit and you'll see that it goes right on okay very simple now you'll notice the pressure regulator has a lug here a little tiny lug here and one over the other side. These lugs fit into the casing um, right down right here where I'm pointing. So let's um, let's put this pressure regulator in there just like I'm I'm showing you like that and with the lug down and then up here this hole fits over this pin. Hope you can see that. This hole over this pin. Simply put it in there and press it down and it fits very well. And this flange on the tip fits right into a slot near the end of the, sh of the shell casing. So I will show you. You simply put it in there and Press it in, and now everything is in, uh, inside. You have your pressure regulator, your low pressure valve, and the tip. 
Now carefully place the thumb button onto the tiny little post you can see right there. There's a hole in the thumb button. Yeah, I think you can see the hole. Okay, so that hole goes on that. So it pivots. It allows the thumb button to pivot, you see? And your thumb button gets pressed up and down. So now you can put the two halves together. Very simple, very easy. Just line them up carefully and squeeze them together. I usually squeeze here and then I squeeze here. Now you are ready to use the pressure regulator inside as a completely portable unit. This CO2 bulb has already been used, uh, but here's how it goes in. Very easy. You put it in the cup, and then you screw it on, and uh, you screw it uh, just till you hear it puncture. You don't have to close this gap all the way. You can, you know, just turn it. It doesn't have to be completely closed. This would be sufficient to puncture the disc. And now, if you press the thumb button, gas uh, would uh, come out of the CO2 bulb. And for storing a CO2 bulb inside, you can simply turn the CO2 bulb around backwards and store it for future use. Uh, as a uh, portable device. So this item is completely uh, ready to use if it has a new CO2 bulb inside and and uh, it can be co it can be totally portable for your purposes. You can save this item for future use on the paintball tanks and uh, of course um, this this other item that you um, removed, this item uh, can be stored for future use uh, uh, with uh, this item. So it is very easy to make the transformation as you can see. If you have any questions, please ca call me. You can call me at this phone number uh, to leave messages, voice messages, or text messages. Uh, you can write me at this email address directly. And um, uh, you can call me on my cell phone number as you already know it and have it on your phone. Thank you. It has been my pleasure serving you.